Uh, this is how stride links look like. It's a big movement of legs forward and back. And this is how Paul's method look like. I guess uh, these two examples would be good enough to understand the difference between range of motion in running and range of motion in pose method of running. As you see, there is quite big distinguishing point for this, that legs do not move forward and back, they are moving up and down. This is a major thing. The foot primary subject of pulling moves up and down. What you see the oval in normal running goes this way like that which brought up by momentum and our efforts to bring legs out. And in pose method we do only vertical efforts of bringing foot from the ground under the hip and uh, what you see a little bit over this straight line is just again the same thing momentum or inertia which build up result and movement uh, around it around the general center of mass and support between them but difference very obvious and you can see it in the clip. So what we are supposed to do there? We have to again build our perception that foot supposed to move only in the vertical line from the ground under the hip. It's our perception or you can call it the structure uh, which is a psychological structure of the movement. What you see above that circle of foot going through it's already biomechanical structure where influence of the inertia forces bring up resultant movement if you will understand this then you will understand how to do your movement in pose method just pull your foot from the ground vertically under your hip this is our topic for today thank you